You can take the man out of the countryside, but you can't take the countryside out of the man. Roy Lupton has taken a deep breath, had his jabs, and left the Garden of England to go up to the big smoke for a dirty job. We're in central London at the moment, but we're not allowed to uh, disclose our location. There's a hell of a problem that they've got with pigeons, and uh, I mean, as you'll see in a minute, they're, uh, they're defecating over everything. Um, over the windows, over the pipework, um, over the pavement, so uh, for a shopping centre, especially for the food outlets, it's not overly hygienic. We're here tonight to try and reduce the population a little bit, but uh, yeah, when you're used to walking around with uh, grass under your feet, coming to central London is a bit of a shock for the system. London is under aerial assault from pigeons and parts of it are covered in guano. Car parks, walkways and shopping centres like this one. The thing is, Londoners are so used to it, they've stopped noticing. But the birds are a real problem and by using hawks one week and air rifles the next, Roy is trying to keep his avian foes in check. No, I mean, very, very odd, isn't it? I mean, we're uh, right in the middle of, uh, some, you know, a, uh, an urban environment here. So we've got high-rise flats um, and shopping centres and whatever else surrounding us. And obviously, when we're taking the shots, then you're making sure that you've got a, a solid backstop, as you would with any other shooting. So we're shooting into the walls, making sure that the pellets can't go awry anywhere. And again, we're only using um, sub-12 foot-pound air rifles. But obviously, it's we're here to do a yeah, pigeon coming in. We're here to do a a pest control job and so we're just trying to get as many as we can as quickly as we can and down he goes you can see that the pigeons are so used to seeing people that even after a shot 30 seconds later more pigeons are coming in so it's, it's literally just standing at the same point and uh, they'll just come in land again and uh, away you go so i just got my necks craning all over the place there's pigeons flying all around us it's just absolutely mad just like in any shooting situation, Roy has to be absolutely sure about shot placement. He also needs to find the most stable position to take that shot. In London, tree trunks become signposts or concrete pillars. Five bar gates become brick walls or wheelie bins. They're the same techniques for shooting as we would be in any other situation um, and the same rules apply. And obviously in a situation like this then safety is paramount and you've got to make sure that uh, you can account for uh, where every single pellet's going to end up. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's exactly the same. Um, so you're getting a good solid rest, you're looking for the shot, uh, you're trying to take the safest shot possible. Normally, um, when I'm shooting pigeons, then I try to go for head shots. In, when we've been doing it tonight, I've been doing a lot of uh, chest shots, um, just because it, you've obviously got uh, a little bit more margin for error and the birds are dropping down. So, so long as you're, you're shooting through the vitals, through the spine or whatever else, then they're dropping nicely. Um, you know, so it, it, exactly the same. You've got to have the same amount of respect for the animals that you're shooting and that you're accounting for. You're just trying to make sure that the shots that you're taking are as efficient as possible. Now, you may notice Roy's pest controller mate is blurred out. The poor lad is so frightened of attacks by anti-hunters, he specially asked to be left out of this film. Back to the story, instead of merging into his natural environment like a chameleon, Roy is wearing his clubbing gear and sporting an air arms air gun for tonight's antics. It attracts attention from the police and shoppers alike. Hiya. You are right. Oh, we're doing pest control. Pest control. Yeah. A young woman questions Roy's parentage and makes further suggestions about what he could do with himself. I know. But he has heard it all before. It's got really light. I think it's the same as uh, whenever you come into a, a position of uh, conflict regarding shooting or field sports or whatever else, as long as you're polite and to try and explain your side of it, then uh, really that's all you can do and, uh, and just hope that they do understand um, and really not take too much umbrage with it. But, yeah, no, very interesting. A few distractions don't deter the man from finding his ferals and the bird bag is building. They're being knocked off their perches from every angle, sometimes in front of passers-by. We know his urban transformation is almost complete when locals start asking him for Sorry? directions. No, yeah, you're fine. You're fine, no problem. I think you're a traffic <laughs> The 
birds find sanctuary everywhere. This centre has spent thousands on netting and big spikes, but the ferals are not easy to keep on top of. Some are even using safety glass to keep out of reach of Roy's pellets. You can see here that, you know, some of the, the mess and damage that's caused, especially in an environment like this where people are walking through, so they pick up the, the mess and etc. on their feet. And up here you can see where the pigeons have been nesting and it's just a, a complete health hazard up in the rafters um, with all the nesting material um, and the, the years of you know, detritus that's built up in there as well. So it's a, it's a haven for muck and disease. So uh, you know, again, another highlight of why this, uh, this sort of work's got to be done. The guys both enjoy using the hawk for jobs like this, keeping the pigeons on their toes or what remains of their toes. Now and again we chance it and throw a light across the buildings to see if the birds will stay put. Some do and they don't see what's coming. It's all thanks to a new torch Roy has been given to play with. This has been absolutely invaluable tonight and um, this is a Nightmaster by Taclight and uh, we've just been sent it to uh, have a go with. We're going to try it out on the foxes and it's meant to throw out the same sort of beam as a, a conventional lamp would. Um, that you plug in and it's just a, a little handheld torch, um, but absolutely superb. The beam on it is brilliant. Obviously very odd, it's got a, a square beam there so you can see, I think it must be the filament in there. Um, but uh, yeah, from, uh, from what we've seen so far, I'm uh, really looking forward to having a play with the foxes. All right, let's go and find some more pigeons. It's been a quite extraordinary evening, walking the streets of London with rifles popping off ferals. As we leave our superhero to his work, we can all sleep safer knowing he's making London a cleaner and better place. Just shine the bat signal into the night sky, or better still, give Roy a ring and he will come and clean up pigeons around your shopping centre too.